She runs. She runs, Mills. Where are we going? <laughs> I was about to start the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No idea what it is. You found treasure on a pirate ship. <gasps> so because we we stayed over on the boat last night, we've been we had a minimum bed with us last night, didn't we, Mills? Where were you sleeping? Did you sleep at the end? We're at the end. So where was mommy and daddy sleeping? Mama was sleeping here. Yeah, we were like sleeping like. <clears throat> in a ball and it wasn't the best night of sleep for us was it? Mm -hmm. so are you actually going to get up and do some work today or are you going to stay in bed watching watching TV stay in bed, you better not <laughs> you do breakfast yeah so what's, what's the plan today? the plan today is <laughs> tie that like that. It's this is big. the plan. No, we're gonna tie in the boat, the front hull together because when we're replacing the frames, there's a lot of banging and banging, jiggery pokery and all that stuff. I never know what jiggery pokery is, but is that just like Definitely. more banging? Yeah, sort of like that. So okay. we're gonna make a brace and tie each side of the hull together. And we're also going to replace the skin fittings at the front. Oh, okay. Then, hopefully, if we get all that done next week. We will be doing frames. Yeah. <laughs> We've been saying this for weeks no, now. No, but you've got to like, um, this is Mason and his natural um, habitat. Uh, just sneaks up and gets some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting, Mason? I'm going back to sleep. Don't go back to sleep. <laughs> we might need you. No. You are the future. So this is me explaining myself, okay? <laughs> so we all know what a hole looks like, don't we? Like a cross section of a hole. So th this is sort of the shape of it where we're going to be working. It's not actually at all, but... And then we've got our deck. It looks like a shield, doesn't it? So in the floor, we've got our engine bearers, I think they're called. We've got some glass, we've got a double diagonal here, we've got our frames and all that sort of jag, and we've got our windows, our glass in it. So, brilliant. So, intention is, is to put some vertical support off one of these bearers in. Then we're going to be putting a big plank on the outside here, then we're going to be putting some big bolts through, we're going to be putting some eyelets there, then we're going to be going high with a stainless steel wire rope, and then back to this side, so this has got another eyelet, then we're going to be putting a turnbuckle in there, so we can basically keep the two sides of the hull together, and also this will probably actually be connected to a deck beam as well, so that will give us some structure there, some structure there, so when we are when we are removing frames, we're not not we're not knocking the hole out basically. We're, we're gonna retain the shape of the hole. We've been sent this catalogue, and also they sent us a pot of paint. Um, we need to paint quite quick for when we we're gonna take the skin fittings off today, and we were like we need to just wax some primer behind it before we put the new ones on. So they sent us a pot of paint, so thank you so much. But they also sent us a catalogue, and in this catalogue, there's literally everything. Um, you know, from paints to brushes to, you know, life crafts and, you know, like cleats. So anything, like... Life rafts. Life rafts. Life rafts. Life rafts. fenders. So anything boat related. Ooh, bilge pumps. <laughs> but do you know what? Do you know what I love about this catalogue? No. It's got the prices in. Oh, okay. Um, That's actually a really good idea. Because you it? never know what you're paying sometimes when you get a catalogue. Ooh, bowls. Because it's almost there for breakfast this morning. Do you know what we had our breakfast out of this morning? Did it work? 
tested. We had frosties <laughs> in a cup this morning, so I need to get some bowls. Well, yeah, this is going to be our, our go to book, I think, for now. Yeah. Can they even do shoes? I don't need shoes, nothing <laughs> wrong. Nothing wrong with my boat shoes, Jeff. Look. My boat, oh. my, my boat shoes are amazing. <laughs> I don't care. You need to. You can't wear them. Can I? You need to. You've got to breathe, haven't you? Suspense. We've got a breathable soul. You Come can't on. afford shoes now. He's got a boat. Oh, I don't need good shoes, do you? <laughs> right. Oh, I love bongs. Yeah, I was looking at them. I like. I like them. Oh, they're good. They're like um, variable size. It's one bong. size like fits all, isn't it? Yes. They are really good, actually. That's like a real quick plug the hole but I think if you want to plug the hole for like Longer. more than a week you, you'd use, you'd use a timber. Every, every time I flip through this castle there's like more stuff but pawns. I need a horn. Getting horn withdrawal aren't you? I know. I know. Come on anyway so if these guys want to look at the catalogue where should they go? Press the link that I'll put in the description. Is it definitely there? It's, it's down there in the description. You sure? I promise. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> and do you know what also is down there? No. The subscribe button. Oh, go and do that route again. Every YouTube channel. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how much time on YouTube is spent by saying subscribe, subscribe. Press the like button. Oh God. There you go. So we're going to be removing Obviously, this is the area that we're working. This is our sensitive area of the boat. So, my plan was to remove these two windows. And the same on this side. Can't the same. We've got some wood behind at the moment. So, remove those. Put some wire from that side to that side. Having an upright here. Let me see the end of my square, and then that will keep it all in line. Technically, um, so we now need to put this on the outside. It's a bit windy now that there's no window there. So we're going to put this big chunk of pine across the engine bearers here and here. So that's going to push way down to the main structure of the vessel. So then we're going to be following up, we're going to put in this post in, which is actually an old door frame. I think it's made of teak or something like that, it's quite a nice piece. Bottom walkie talkies. <laughs> I've seen them in Lidl. How many have to have friends though to use them? <laughs> well, I've got a friend. Do you want to hear my friend? <laughs> yeah, go on. Hello, over. Hello. <gasps> you have to say over. 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 Over, over. <laughs> so the plan was with the walkie talkies was for when um, Simon's outside, when we're doing the copper nails, instead of like trying to shout to each other. I thought we'll just have walkies, but then they're also quite handy for the kids because obviously they're all the way down the other end of the boat. Do you use like an axe for everything? It's always like it's a hand, isn't it? <laughs> so we're just having our dinner and we're Doing something, you're doing something on the George Foreman, are you? Yeah? yeah. So I thought I'd have a look at our Victron. So I was just looking at our power usages and stuff like that, which doesn't really film too good on me. Towards my phone, but you can see at the moment our, sol our solar is generating what, 470 odd watts, battery at 74 percent. And it's showing you the little path on which way the energy is being used. So we're actually drawing from the batteries and we're drawing from the panels. But then our AC out is, what, 1100 watts at the moment? When the George Foreman first fired up, it was like, oh, has it just gone off? Is it just. Yeah. Oh, she's just turned it off now. So, yeah. So now, all we're doing now is from the solar panels, recharging the batteries. So, obviously, we haven't got a generator on because. 
we don't need to but we haven't had to have the generator on for like basically since since the Victron was fitted so it's really 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 good system um it'd be nice to do a bit more of an update video on the system come on Jeremy we've only got eight years so we've got to meet the Medusa <laughs> No time for biscuit breaks. <laughs> no time for biscuit breaks. <laughs> right, so let's go and inspect Gemma's eyelet. Stick now, be up to the job or what? Come on, sailors. They'll be, won't they? Window. That's window. Oh, thank you. So it's just got years of paint on this, you know. It's just like. She's in really good neck, like. Oh, it's just got loads of pain. Just look at me. Very poor quality with it. Hello! Hello! What's it like? It's actually quite nice out here. I was just talking to the camera and I was telling them how bad the paint is. Mmm! Oh. That's going to come off so easy now. Yeah, I just can't wait. Look at it. It's just one little, like, good gust of wind and there'll be no paint left. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm going to jet wash it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Only because it needs a bit of water, I know, doesn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I think we should just jet wash. Anyway, right, so I've got to do this window now. Well, it's just taken me half an hour to get the screws out of that and the paint off because the screws are actually really well bitten. Cool. And then I'm stood on my nice little platform. And then once we've done that, then if you can see down there, it's going to be a bit of a pain in it. That's our through hole. Wish me luck. So, about painting the hull, obviously, we need to paint it. But we are, obviously, tidal. <laughs> so, I'm hoping we can get some volunteers. I think the more people we can get to come and help us, the more obviously the faster we'll do it you know if we can have literally loads of people down each side working on a section each we could get it stripped quite quick and especially if soft dolly's on about jet washing it my concern with jet washing it is flaky paint everywhere which we don't want um i was sort of thinking the other night of making like a, a plastic sort of sheet and gutter that you know you can scrape and all your paint scrapings will fall in to I've, I've got it in my head of how i want to do it and um, so basically it'll be like a a craft catcher <laughs> so you can stand there scraping and it'll all just fall in and then obviously every you know 10 minutes we can have someone cleaning it up or whatever Um so i'd like to get the paint the hull painted this summer while wow, we've got nice weather and stuff you know it'd be nice to, if we can get like 15 people down one side 15 people down the other side i think we'd have it all done in a day <laughs> we can all have a competition painting competition <laughs> he's always got to turn everything into a challenge yeah that's how you get stuff done it is okay what does the winner get know doesn't know yeah um so if you are local and you do want to help paint um drop us over an email or a facebook messenger or something i'm smirking a little bit <laughs> go off that light. take that light okay oh there okay you shouldn't pull on that really because i'm trying to tie it <laughs> have you been leaning on that no Here's what we made earlier. <laughs> Is it like blue pizza? So, we've now got a big piece of ply outside. We've removed two windows, same on either side. And now we've got a big structural post that we've put in. I know it, yeah, he's literally he's moved it from there <laughs> to there. No, it's a different post. Oh, it looks the same. That wasn't actually doing anything, that was one. It? Because no. from a certain angle here, yeah. It's it the looks, same colour. It looks the same. Looks anyway, like, let's yeah. just talk about what. <laughs> Go on, so what. So, so what force is there? We've now got on? this force. Okay, right. Into this force. 
Okay. No. So we've got the front one there going into the back ones there. The back ones are there, so we're crossing over. Okay. And it's all just it's keeping our whole front line going. <laughs> yep. <Well done. laughs> What's that just the noise that I make? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Welcome to Shape Patterns. Skin fitting. So what's the next job? These skin fittings. Okay. Right, so what, what I did make in the workshop, I made some tools that we could fit. Did it because they have like flats inside. So that's just a bit of box section. So I made a tool that we can put in there. And then you can put a spanner or more grips or whatever on there. So we, so we can hold that back. So that stops it from turning? That stops it from turning. Brilliant idea. What's, then, what's the magic bolt for? Magic bolt is the same, but for the three quarter setup. Ah, so put, and you flattened I'll it off. two flats on it. And then some tape and some guidance. But you can actually work both ways. I think you could, don't we? So yeah, we we were struggling to try and find like, because obviously, when you put it on and when you want to tighten it up, how, yeah. how could how does you stop it from spinning? So there you go. We make the make made made. We make it up. We made our own. We, we made, made, our we made own. it up. So <laughs> then the inch and a half will just basically some box section. I don't know if it was really. So yeah, that, that should work, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So you can actually do this from the inside as well. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Which I'm sure I designed this one to do from the inside. We're just jibber jabbering. Just remembering, isn't it? There you go. So we can, you can actually work from the inside. So you can hold that bag and then you can turn it on and span it. So that's really good because obviously we were like, you know, how do you stop them from spinning from the outside? I think you can buy tools, but... We don't buy tools, we just make stuff. in our normal tool, in our normal boat shop, I couldn't find them. Oh. Scalpel! It's kind of what? Mm -hmm. Right, let's not mess around too. That's for the blow for us. Drill with a wire brush here that I can um. <laughs> 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 Is it is it like mandatory that you've got to make them noises? These are these tires. This is the bedding compound of use. Mark. Gemma was worried about that. The CR was upside down. But. <laughs> oh, God, I froze. Try to hit me with it. Oh, no, no. It's really heavy. Well, look where you threw it. <laughs> oh, you're in the mud. Well, that's what you're supposed to do when I've lost! <laughs> I've lost the discussion! Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you do it! I've, I've also sounded. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll put my finger in the middle. Stop! Let's pull it through. Right. Go on. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bit faster, love. 
<laughs> you pulled out. Uh, that's all you've got. Put it deeper. There you go. Oh yeah. Gooey. <laughs> no. International primer. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful colour this primer. So I'm just going to clean up the paintway from down the hull. So then I'm going to put the washer on. And it's been held away ever so slightly by this um, this this rove. So what we need to do is we're going to just relieve the washer ever so slightly because we don't want to push the rove out and we might compromise our seal. And to do that, do it left handed, don't want to draw the left hand there. So let's say we want to take out that. And there's also one around here. So I'm just gonna just go and relieve it ever so slightly. So you can find a file or something. Flat though, isn't it? Flatter. Definitely pull yourself back in. We're using Sikaflex 291i. Do you know it's the i version? Oh, then? it's got a picture of a boat on it. It must be right. Must be expensive. Do you think you put too much on? Obviously, I've already glued this from outside. Plenty of it. Plenty of spare outside as well, Jim. Is there? Yeah. Nathan's on me hook. So we had to um, notch it out so it clears the roves. Jim, ah. why would you want to clear the roves? So it sits flush against your hull. Yeah, what could happen to the roves? Uh, they could rub. They could push out, couldn't they? Yeah. There's been nothing. So our fittings that are going to go on the on the one inch valve, PTF food, because they're pipe thread, it's actually a tape thread, Okay. you know that? But then they're just the parallel thread, which I think the main sealing area is actually right against on the on machine flats, which in the workshop, believe it or not, I actually did a test with, with these fittings on one of these ball valves. Basically all I did was hand tighten it. No goop, nothing in it. I then filled it with water and left it overnight. Alright. It actually, it actually held. Cool. So, with a bit of goop on it, it's going to be great. And look, we found another original light switch. That's so, I'll take that back and I'll sandblast it up with the others. It. Yeah, I want a blasting cabinet, you know. Yeah, we need to make one. Make one, I think you can buy them. Okay, because <laughs> yeah, last time we sandblasted, I've sandblasted one of them in the past and I'm doing it in an IBC and literally for days I was like pulling the sand out my ears. So I think we definitely need a cabinet. <laughs> right, do you think we should give it another nip now? Yes, it's always wise, isn't it? After you've like, um, She'll be tired, she'll be tired. So that little tool you've made is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Just for literally a bit of box section. Well, yeah, it was box section. Put it in the vise, put like a bolt next to it, and then squished it, and then squished it. Because obviously it started out life like that. Yeah. But, and then I was sort of offing it up into the hole. And I thought, hey, why not make it like double-sided so you can hit it if Yeah. <laughs> I sell them. You could sell them. I wish I could get for them. Don't know. Skin fit and tools. Three pound fifty. <laughs> get your fingers right in there. Do you know what I mean? Proper. Oh, look at that. Right into the threads. Don't want to mess about with it, do you? You need to. No. You need to get in. 
And uh, and we're just gonna like I say on the mating surface. But the reason we don't want to put too much on it is because I can't believe with this light it's even too much oh, old, like, yeah, like not enough, isn't it? Should, it should be like a dull version. But what we don't want to do is get goop into the valve, do we? No. Nope. That would be bad. So hopefully that's enough goop. Yeah. But we'll have a, we'll have a puddle there, won't we? Yeah. Yep. Where do you put the rest of the goop? Yeah, on, on your iron. On your lead. On your lead, sorry, lead. Your dry lead. So now... Mm -hmm. It's just coming up on 12 o'clock. You know you've got a belt on and you've still got a butt crack. So I can now hold the valve back. Right. And I've had more hands. It's not like I'm hurting it. <laughs> no, yeah. It's like. Every time you like turn it. Blood, you know, on this boat for me. Amelia, we've had an injury and we need a first aid kit. Can you come and help? They're in here. The medic. There's the medic. Second. The medic looks like she's um from the Medusa crew today. Come on, the medic. Oh. Come on. Um. Mm. Clean it all off. Oh, fantastic job. Don't forget that to be nice because it is cut. Oh. That's okay, go on. And you're a field medic, aren't you? You don't have to be nice, you have to get the job done, don't you? Hey? A blood everywhere. Yes, yeah, okay. Uh, do we think it needs stitches or just a pirate plaster? Pirate plaster. Okay, okay, that's all. Here you go. Mm. Awesome job. Well there you done. go, Daddy. Right, do we get a badge or anything or do, do we just get the pirate badge? Pirate. Is that it? Okay. Thank you very much for helping. Well, shouldn't have kissed the nurse, should you? <laughs> are the valves closed? The valves are closed. And I'm only getting this on camera because last time we, when we had that little emergency a couple of weeks ago and we changed it, we got home and he was like, I need to go back to the boat. I don't think I'd shut the valve and I actually knew that we had shut it because I'd said it on camera so no, and we actually and we could see the footage, the footage. <laughs> <laughs> and we could see it's closed so you are at the bow yeah is it closed it's closed uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay <laughs> is this one closed yeah, I'm not going to, I can't be bothered calming down and doing that, but okay. everything's tiny, everything's glowed up. It's all good. I'm happy. I, I think we've done a good job today. Looks good from outside as well, yeah. Does it? Well, it actually looks like, do you know what this is? Oh. Is this the first thing that's actually never going to come back up? The first new thing on the boat? I think it is, isn't it? Yay! It is, isn't it? Yeah! That's actually quite a little milestone, That's isn't a it? That's a thing. So we've, we've actually put something into the boat yeah. that's staying. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, everything else we've done has been taking stuff off the boat and ripping the boat apart and... Putting this in temporary, that And, temporary. you know, everything that we do is, is temporary, isn't it? Yeah. Like temporary kitchen and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, 
these so are sure. a job that yeah. we can take off the box yeah. i know we've still got like a million others to do yeah no but it's like it means we're at the point of doing good yeah so we're not just ripping it apart anymore yeah. we're actually putting stuff new stuff, new stuff where it needs to be and that is going to stick no matter what else we do what layout we do or whatever they're in they're done their life is not and hopefully next week there'll be more some more no, good no, stuff no excuse to not do it for it um, I, I've, I've got my eye on that one there which one x marks the spot this one because it runs close to our fixings up there uh it's the most trashed one in the area to so the one that's doing the least the least amount of work okay so what do you think Jim? should we just have a little look at how straight it is i just want to use like a straight edge it's not far off is it first <laughs> the straightest one of the boat i've even spun it oh, yeah. Oh. yeah happy with that can you see that mr camera do, do, do. So, yeah, uh, that's one of the straightest of the That one. Oh, well, that's one of the off the bed, though. Because as it curves the opposite way up on the top, so, yeah. so the first part's going to be the most awkward. But then once that's it, that's going to try and keep the boat that way. You know what I mean? But here, hmm. so about here, yep. it's straight. straight. So it's that it we've got a little cave out, did you say? Yeah. At the top. Yeah. So that's gonna be the hardest, and then from here it should just go woo. Yeah. Okay. So that is the more priority. But what we're doing next week. So we're gonna be doing one of these, definitely next week. It's definitely gonna come out anyway. And then I'm gonna get loads of bolts and washers with the like roofing washers with the um the rubber rose backing on it mm -hmm. in case we can't get it back in for some reason so then we can seal the holes in case yeah. it all goes wrong we're going to make sure we've got a backup plan backup plan <laughs> okay love it right let's go let's go we've been here for like too long 30 hours we are tired we're working that one we make it sound like so oh god we've been sleeping now to be honest we had a nice night with the kids last night yeah, we went out for a meal nice we night. had a nice little walk and stuff mm. um I, we we didn't see them last weekend because obviously we were away. So it was nice yeah. just to have a bit of family time. We all you know had some snacks and watched a movie. We're, so. we're getting good feedback on the Medusa video as well, aren't we? Yeah, which is really good. We, that, we, we really enjoyed making that, that was, video. It was. I always had fun, didn't we? Yeah. Didn't we? It was. It's it was, easy to make videos when it's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's great, right? Cheers, guys, for watching. Tidy up and go. See you Bye. next week. Bye. Frames, yes. <laughs> She said that last week. I did. I'm going to say it every week. <laughs> and hopefully one week it might be true. <laughs> so now that you're on board, I'll let the love we share take hold of you as we move a little more.